quick rundown for Dave. We've got our screen right here, as you can see at the top, we got RPM, then we got speed, we got park, which is uh, controlled on your column here. You got reverse, neutral, forward, reverse, you know how it goes. BCD, um, that means you are in three ranges, so it'll shift automatically between those three ranges. Could just lock it in A, B, C, or D. This one's running between B, C, D. Best way to run it. I like to set it so it starts in gear C1, and then if you need to go slower, uh, you just put it, uh, you just downshift basically, and then you're rolling. Auto mode means it shifts automatically between the gears for you. You don't have to do anything. You just hit the throttle. Uh, good on the road. Sucks in driveways because it'll shift at random points and throw you through a garage door. So don't do that. Four wheel drive. You got temperature uh, fuel and then stupid death I hate that stuff it burns probably about uh, one uh, let me think three three bars on there of fuel is about one one bar of death terrible delete that crap if you can but you can't really so what can you do uh, over on your column here you got your lights and your blinkers and all that and whatnot mirror mirror that Connor broke on this side getting that replaced there's your other mirror sunroof this thing is loaded this isn't actually my tractor it's just a winter lease it's like 130 grand so it's got we got uh, a few options here we got some bumping speakers we got uh, you know climate control and whatnot radio is radio uh, it's got Bluetooth and stuff it works good but it kind of sucks it's overly complicated uh, figuring out just how to connect the Bluetooth is a task it's yeah it kind of sucks but it does the trick controls for your uh, computer fancy dancy screen there uh, throttle all kinds of lights and high tech and crap um, like I said before, your auto mode, this is your scroll wheel if you want to limit how fast the tractor goes. So yeah, that's how that goes. Here's your uh, three point hitch up down that brings up the blower or drops it. Same thing with this unit. You just don't, it's nicer to use the button, it's better. Uh, remotes, so we've got it set up so the wings on the snow blower run off the remote here. So if we go, oh, wrong wing. If you go like this, that does your wing. We're running the um, the chute off of the loader control here. So that's, you go, that's how I like to run it. It's kind of cool, you go up, down, up, down, forward, reverse, or side to side, I meant. Uh, if you are running in manual mode, so you pull this over to manual, that's gear up, down, that's cool. It's, I, I don't really use it, I use this one instead, but if you're doing loader work or something, that's kind of sweet. Don't have a clue what that does. Uh, this is your forward reverse, just another option. That's cool. I don't use it either. I'm just used to the other one, but that's cool. Uh, you got your wipers and whatnot, some switches that we wired up for uh, to run a diverter for the wings, but I, I don't like that crap. I like uh, hydraulic connection is a little better. Uh, nothing. You got your uh, EPTO uh, versus your regular. Pe turn that EPTO crap off. It's no good for blowing snow because it'll it'll actually let the uh, the blower go way above 540 RPM. It'll go to like 700 RPM, which is definitely not good for uh, the bearings in that blower. So turn that garbage off. Uh, here is your uh, PTO switch, <coughs> foot throttle, brake, clutch that you never use because it has auto clutch. So as soon as I hit this brake, tractor clutches itself. Uh, a little bit strange at first, once you get used to it, works pretty good. You got your buddy seat here, a uh, bunch of cigarettes there. I don't smoke, Connor does. It's fine, I don't care. Keeps production up, whatever it takes. Um, yeah, so that's the uh, unit here. What else can I tell you? Uh, we got it branded up. And uh, yeah, this is a great unit. It's uh, pretty much obviously our highest production unit, but not my not my favorite one because well okay maybe it is I always drive it but <clears throat> it's not the most uh, versatile one I guess you could say let me show you currently my favorite setup this this unit here is good too I like this uh, tractor I ran this tractor last year not running any currently I'm just just the fill in man backup guy but I still end up running them all the time uh, this setup here. It's been working pretty well. We had some troubles with it lifting this blower. Don't ever put the 92 on a 4066. I know I said 
I know I recommend it. I screwed up, guys. I'm sorry. Dumb decision. Don't do it. But if you already did it, it does work. It's just not. I need a little bit too much blower for that tractor weight-wise. Power-wise, it's fine. Everybody was saying, oh, 66 can't run 92. False. Lots of power. You don't need 800 horsepower on freaking guys. Like, I... I <laughs> I heard the, uh, some of these dealers are recommending like 74 inch blowers on a 4066 or L6060. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Um, you're fine with these units. This is the best machine right here. 4066 with the Cyclone 82 with the wing kit. This thing is a production machine. Snow tires loaded down. Yeah, this is a rig. So, the reason that this thing is so sweet is it's not overloaded. You can see we got a reasonable amount of weight on the front. Um, the blower is not too big for the tractor. It picks it up easy. The tractor accelerates nice and quick. It's all good. You're not overtaxing the machine. And you have the same, if not probably more overhang than the 92. Actually, you know what? You do have more overhang. When these wings are extended, you're like a good probably three feet out from your tire. And even this tire compared to the 4052 is even stanced out a little more. So you got all kinds of overhang to play with, which is awesome for cutting back banks and whatnot. But it's also a tight little unit. So if you're going down between two houses, you pull those wings together, you don't have to worry about hitting crap. Wow, awesome machine. This is my favorite one right now. You'll be seeing some more of these in the fleet in the future. I'd like to get my hands on the new 80 inch. This is the old style uh, 82 inch blower, one of the more original Cyclone setups. Um, but they did an all new redesign and actually one of my videos, I'm sure you can see it, uh, of up in the factory with Jim there showing it off. They did a bit of a redesign. Pulled the blower closer to the tractor. Uh, new auger a few improvements they did a new tensioner system which is cool there's actually no longer a spring it's just this fancy little uh compression nylon i don't know what the heck it is but it's pretty cool yeah that's that's the rig there guys this is the best one so if uh if you're looking at getting into a snow setup my recommendation would be 4066 is nice 66 horsepower is pretty nice to have Truth is, if you're buying a new tractor, for new purchases, I go with the 52R. Uh, the 50 horse does the trick quite nicely for just these blowers. Um, this is a nice setup. So, yeah. This old girl is a classic. First tractor I ever bought. She's probably going to get traded in. And that blower as well, the old style blower. Just uh, not not up to spec with the, with the new technology here, so. Better upgrade that. She's a good good unit though, but uh, four series you do get a little more production out of, so we'll be sure to upgrade that unit for next year. But yeah, long story short, hope you got a little bit of information out of it. We just actually installed these uh, hydraulic uh, flow limiter things. You gotta drill drill out this piece of steel, tiny tiny little hole, and then uh, just just suppresses how much hydraulic uh, oil gets through there. Because if you just hook this thing up directly, this chute flies like crazy. They, they go nuts. So you want to slow that down a little bit. But yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you uh, got a little bit of value out of it here. And we will see you in the next one.